Hi friends, this is Mainak Misra and welcome back to my channel. I hope during this Corona pandemic time, you and your family members are doing absolutely great. And today I will be discussing with you about Florian Zeller's deeply emotional film, The Father. I think you have already seen this film, but let me discuss with you. Florian Zeller's multi-layered film, The Father, deals with the sufferings at old age due to dementia. The way he has woven the film, it does not look like his filmmaking debut. No matter how many ways the viewers try to connect the dots, the film leaves unanswered questions. The film revolves around reality and fantasy imaginations and facts, life and dreams. The father meticulously portrays the sufferings and helplessness of an aged person, especially when that person is suffering from the horrible mental disease like dementia. Anthony Hopkins touches hearts with his extraordinary acting as Anthony, his namesake. The father depicts the trauma and the agonized world of a person who is mentally challenged. Now let me discuss with you about the film. Anne comes to his father Anthony's flat and she informs that she will be leaving London for Paris. She has found a new man in her life. But Anthony doesn't know about that man and he says, I don't know, I only know your former husband, James. Anne is not happy that Anthony again and again is giving tough times to his caregivers and recently he is not happy with Angela and he accuses that Angela has stolen his watch and warns that if you continue with this behavior then there is no any other option but to shift you in a nursing home. The next day, Anthony sees an unknown person and that person claims that he is Paul and Anthony stays with him and Anthony's daughter Anne in his flat. Anthony thinks that it is his flat. Then Anthony again surprised when a different woman appears as Anne. And then Anne schedules an interview with a new caregiver, Laura. Laura is a beautiful young lady. And Anthony introduces himself as a retired 
tap dancer. He behaves jovially and he confidently says that I don't need any caregiver. I am totally fit and I don't need. However, Laura reminds him of his daughter Lucy and Anthony has not seen Lucy for many months. He does not know Lucy's whereabouts. Laura conveys sympathy and condolences for the accident of Lucy. But Anthony doesn't know that. There is an argument between Paul and Anne regarding Anthony because they had to cancel their Italy trip. Paul even slaps Anthony several times. And then Anthony wakes up and leaves the flat and visits a hospital nearby. And there he sees that his daughter Lucy is on a hospital bed and the blood is smeared on her face. Then Anthony wakes up in a different room. Now this time it is a nursing home. And then he sees that Catherine is standing nearby. And he previously saw Catherine as Anne, means Anne as Catherine and Laura as Catherine. He sees another nurse, male nurse, and his name is Bill. He is again confused because previously he saw Bill as Paul. Anthony is totally confused and he even starts doubting his existence. He says, who am I? He starts cherishing his moments with his mother and starts behaving like a child. Catherine consoles and comforts him and says, promises that she will take him to the nearby park little later. And that's how the film ends. However, there are the film leaves multiple unanswered questions. Whose flat is that in the first scene? Is it Anthony's flat? Is it Anne's flat? Or is it a nursing home? Who is Paul? Is Lucy dead or she is alive? Why does Catherine appear as Anne and Laura? Is Anne staying in London or in Paris? There are multiple unanswered questions in the film. Florian Zeller does not want to give any straightforward answer. He invites viewers to be involved 
in Antony's life that itself is fragmented without any proper order with the descent of dementia. Florian Zeller wants the viewers to take a tour of Antony's life. He wants the viewers to feel and realize the sufferings of a person who is mentally challenged. The objective of the film is not simply arranging the jumbled up events. The objective of the film is to feel and realize the miseries and sufferings of a person who is mentally challenged. And if that person is an aged person, an octogenarian person like Antony, the suffering is enormous, it's deadly. And the viewers or we can connect our family members who have undergone these problems or who are undergoing this problem. We can see our family members in Antony. And when Paul slaps Antony, we cannot hold our tears. We are heartbroken. And the most important thing that the film tells how society should behave, how the world should behave with these mentally disordered persons. The only thing they need is love and care. And that's when Catherine comforts and consoles him and tells him that she will take Antony to the nearby park. He is totally broken that time. His self-confidence comes to a broken, like a broken toy. He is totally devastated and he even questions his own existence. That's the situation. The lives of mentally disordered persons should not be restricted to four walls. And those need to reach out to the stars, the greenery, trees, branches, seas, oceans, everywhere. They have the right and we can show our sympathy towards them. Humanity and compassion should triumph over inhuman treatment, ill treatment. And that's what the film tells. It is not just simply asking the viewers to arrange the jumbled up events. No, the film tells something bigger how the society should treat these persons, how we should treat these persons, how is their life. That's what the film tells. Because every viewer has a different opinion about the storyline. The story is extremely dynamic and multidimensional. Now regarding the works in different departments, the screenplay written by Florian Zeller is multidimensional, dynamic, filled with emotional dialogues and very tight. It is based on his own original play of the same name. And he has written the screenplay with Christopher Hampton. 
The direction of Florian Zeller is as dynamic and multidimensional as the screenplay. And the editing follows the screenplay and the direction. Yorgos Lamprinos efficiently edited the film. One of the most important parts of this film is production design. Peter Francis has done a brilliant job. There is only one flat. The architecture remains the same. However, the setting changes from Antony's flat to Anne's flat to a nursing home. And as per the settings, everything changes like the color, the furniture, props, wall painting, uh, wall color, lights, everything within a low budget and a very limited resources peter francis did a tremendously brilliant job the music composed by ludovico inodi is melancholy heartening and soothing he has composed musical pieces as well as he has taken opera music from different authors like he has taken uh, the Pearl Fisher by Georges Bizet and another opera music is used that is King Arthur or the British Worthy by Henry Purcell. The music feeds the theme of the film and extremely contemplating brilliant pieces of music, whatever composed or whatever used. The father received widespread critical acclaim. It touched the hearts worldwide. It was nominated for six Academy Awards at the 93rd Academy Awards, where Anthony Hopkins won the Best Actor Oscar and uh, Florian Zeller and Christopher Hampton won the Best Adapted Screenplay. It was also nominated for six BAFTA Awards where it won Best Actor in a Leading Role for Anthony Hopkins and Best Adapted Screenplay for Florian Zeller and Christopher Hampton. It was nominated for four Golden Globe Awards and as I mentioned that it received widespread critical acclaim, brilliant acting by Anthony Hopkins. It touches heart. Olivia Colman is equally brilliant and she her acting is very intense. You will feel that Anne is really Anthony's daughter and she cares for her father. But you know, what will she do every time you know if or every day if she sees uh, that kind of person generally demotivation comes up nothing can be done we all can feel the same but Anne is extremely caring for her father and olivia coleman portrays that brilliantly all other actors uh, did a brilliant job Rufo Sewell or Mark Gattis, all uh, Imogen Ports, everybody did a brilliant job. And I hope that you have already seen this film. Please see this film. You cannot miss this. This is deeply emotional and it touches everybody's heart. If you have not seen this, then please see this film and the request goes again. Please uh, help me please subscribe to my channel please press the bell icon so that you do not miss regular updates inspire me if you want to uh, request me for a video please tell me i will try to make that please uh, put your comment down below if you want to ask anything or if you want to share anything thank you so much for watching this video and until i make the next video thank you so much and bye